Better health for everybody, every day. Transforming lives, three minutes at a time. Listen up. This is your daily health tip from The Good Company. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to today's health tip. This is Melissa from The Good Company. It is Sunday, my favorite day of the week. Sweet Sunday morning when I try to make a little time for myself, for self-care, for taking care of myself, especially on weeks that have been crazy like this past one. I spent a little time this week listening to some podcasts and some interviews, and one of my favorite hero uh, evangelists for our our health and wellness is a woman named Stephanie Seneff out of MIT. Um, her last name is S-E-N-E-F-F. Highly recommend you guys take a few minutes and do a little research on your own about her. She is probably the world's leading researcher on glyphosate, which is the chemical that's found in Monsanto's Roundup. Really interesting information coming from her. However, one of the things that she said that I wanted to share with you was that Epsom salt baths are a great way to detox this glyphosate from our bodies. And she says that even if we are eating 100% organic, we are still getting glyphosate. It is impossible when fields are sprayed to prevent it from leaching into groundwater, from being carried by the winds, from being eaten by birds and bird droppings on other places, etc., etc. So we're all full of this nasty, nasty chemical that is doing lots of bad things to our bodies. Um, I highly recommend, guys, if this is the first time you're hearing about glyphosate or Roundup chemicals, that you do your research. Nobody should be using Roundup on their patios in their homes that gets into your groundwater. Um, Monsanto's Roundup, we want to avoid it at all costs. So if that piques your interest at all, in the show notes, I will leave her name. Um, I will leave the spelling of glyphosate and Roundup is pretty easy for you to do some research on toxic to be avoided. But if you can manage today to sneak in an Epsom salt bath as hot as you can handle, about 15 to 20 minutes until you start sweating, your pores will open, your body will absorb that magnesium that is in the Epsom salts, as well as let your body get rid of the toxins that will come to the surface in that hot bath. Remember too, if you're pregnant, if you have blood pressure problems, If you question this at all, please talk to your doctor before you do things like hot baths, but Epsom salts are really innocuous and good for you, so you can always add them in. You can also, guys, always do a foot bath. If you can't do a whole body bath or you're in an apartment without a bathtub, um, you can always do a hot bucket of water with Epsom salt and let your feet soak. Try to make some time for yourself today. If this doesn't resonate, do what serves you. Have a great Sunday. We'll see you back here tomorrow.